Hi, welcome to Majestic Cloud. In this video, I will talk about creating automated snapshots of your EC2 volumes. Up until recently, you could only create automated snapshots of your volumes by using shell scripts or Lambda functions. These sometimes could prove difficult to create and maintain. However, a few months ago, AWS released the Data Lifecycle Manager. This tool allows you to schedule the creation of your automated snapshots every 12 or 24 hours. It even allows you to set how many days you want to keep the snapshots. After this period passes, the snapshots are automatically deleted. But let's see how this works in real life. Let's uh, go to the console and see uh, my instances. I have an instance here. I want to take uh, an automated snapshot of the volume of this instance. So I have here the volume of the instance, it's the boot volume. So this is the instance I want to um, schedule the snapshots. The data lifecycle manager is here in the left side menu. It's called lifecycle manager. And um, we can here start to create a snapshot, automated snapshots. However, before we do that, let's go to volumes and uh, add a tag to this uh, volume because this is how uh, the data lifecycle manager works. You need to tag the instance and then choose which tags you want to uh, uh, create a snapshot of. So I will add a tag here and my tag will be backup equals true. So we save this tag. Then we go to the lifecycle manager and create the snapshot policy. And uh, we will need to give it a name here. This will be my default uh, daily schedule. Um, here we need to choose the tag we just added. So backup true. This means that any volume that has backup true as a tag will be back. Uh, backed up, I mean the, the snapshot will be created of it. Um, yeah, so this is the default schedule. Right now, instead of 24 hours, I will give it 12 hours just to test it out. I will put here like 12, 12, 20 UTC. This is the hour which um, the snapshot will be created. It's advisable to choose um, a time when your um, uh, IO operations are at a minimum. So how many uh, snapshots will be retained? I want to retain like, let's say for 10 days uh, with a 12 hour schedule, that means uh, 20 snapshots. I will keep 10 snapshots. After that, um, the snapshots will be automatically uh, deleted. Uh, here we can add a tag to these uh, snapshots, so we know that those snapshots were created by the data lifecycle manager. So, managed by data lifecycle manager, true. So, any um, volume, uh, any snapshot created by the data lifecycle manager will have this tag. So, okay. Um, here the role will be created automatically and, and the policy needs to be enabled. So let's create the policy. This is now created and um, after a few uh, minutes, um, because I set the time at 12.20, uh, after a few minutes uh, my snapshot should appear here. Let's wait for for that, and uh, I will continue the, the video after the snapshot is uh, created. Okay, so a uh, while has passed since I uh, created this uh, lifecycle policy. Let's go to the snapshots and see if we have one. So yes, I have a snap snapshot of my uh, volume. Um, you can see it here. It, if I look at the tags, I can see that it has the tags that I set in the lifecycle policy managed by DLM. True. So 
the life cycle manager will continue to create snapshots uh, of my volume every 12 hours and after 10 days the old snapshots will be deleted um, so you can use these snapshots to uh, create volumes or create uh, Amazon machine images and uh, restore an instance from, from these uh, snapshots. So this is it. I hope um, you liked the video. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your attention. See you next time in another video about the cloud.